Welcome to the Yes to Life show, the channel for healthy and delicious vegan fitness recipes. My name is Samuel and today we are making three healthy smoothie recipes to kickstart your day. Today we will look at three different smoothie recipes. One is red, one is green and one is yellow. So depending on your mood, depending on the fruits that are in season, you can go for whatever you like best. And we just wanted to give you some ideas of how you can combine flavors of vegetables and fruits in order to come up with a delicious smoothie. The first one that we're gonna do is the red smoothie. And that's my absolute favorite because it has raspberries and beetroot. So the color is beautiful. The raspberry flavor is just so intense. I have cooked beetroot right here. I will add it to the food processor. It depends a little bit on how much you like the flavor of beetroot. I like it quite a lot, but if you find it too intense, use just one or two. And into that we give our frozen raspberries. You can go for fresh ones, but I personally find it a bit of a waste because the fresh ones are so beautiful and it's nicer to eat them just like that. While the frozen ones usually are the ones that don't look that nice, but still have the nice raspberry flavor. And I like the frozen ones because they will also add some cool temperature to the smoothie. You could also add some ice cubes, of course. I gotta be honest, I don't have ice cubes today. Add them to the blender. Now we will add banana. You can leave it out, of course, but I find it adds a nice sweetness as well as some creaminess to the texture. And as you might already see right here, this is a huge smoothie. So it's enough for two to three people. And you can also keep it in the fridge for several days afterwards. And then you have a fresh smoothie two to three days in a row. And you can adjust the sweetness with some dates. I will just add three or four. And an apple, you don't have to, but why not? Add it in there. And then of course some water. This depends a little bit on the size of the container that you use, as well as the amount of vegetables that you use. And of course the type of consistency that you're going for. Are you ready? Let's blend it. With the wider mix, usually 50 seconds, 45 to 50 seconds are enough until you have a fine smoothie without any chunks left. But depending on the blender, this might take a little longer. So now it's Luca's turn to try it because he hasn't actually tasted it before. Hey guys. Usually he's behind the camera, so now he's coming uh, in front of the camera. And here's the smoothie. One thing that you want to make sure when you blend it is that you put the lid on top because otherwise you might have all of the, because you otherwise you might have red stains all on your ceiling and you don't want that because the color of the beetroot is really strong. So how is it? Oh, I haven't tried it yet. Oh, you haven't tried it. Cheers. Cheers. Very good, very good. The raspberries are nice, right? Mm -hmm. Very nice. I think some mint would also go very, little bit of mint. Yeah, great idea. Also, of course, if you want it to be a protein smoothie, you can add some protein powder in there as well. But this is more like a refreshing fruity smoothie to start your day and the color is just beautiful mm -hmm. so we will add that to the glass jar and then Cheers. we will make the second ones which which lucas also can try and in case you're wondering i don't have other jars right now than this one but i think it works just fine to fill in the smoothie now look at the color that's our red smoothie Let's go to the other ones. Smoothie number two. This is the green one and the green color comes from the spinach. I have one full pack of spinach here and you can add other green vegetables, green leafy vegetables as well. A classical one would be kale, but I gotta be honest, I didn't find it at the supermarket today. Uh, unfortunately in Germany, it's not that easy. You have to go to the organic supermarkets usually, but the regular ones don't have kale. So add the spinach in there. And this smoothie is not as sweet as the other ones because of course the spinach is not sweet. Um, that's why I add one more banana. We have three bananas that we add in there as well as two kiwis. Simply cut them in half and then with a spoon you can scoop them out. Alternatively, you could get rid of the skin first and then add them in. Some people like to eat the skin of the kiwi. I personally don't. I find it's a bit hairy and not so pleasant looking. And in this one, there's no frozen berries. Uh, so you might want to add some ice cubes if you want a cold smoothie right away. Or otherwise you add it again to the 
fridge and you drink it a couple of hours later. And then lastly, you can adjust the sweetness by adding dried dates. I will add in this one, maybe like six, seven dates. Last part, some water. And let's blend it. Again, around 50 seconds are the perfect time to make sure that you don't have any chunks anymore in the smoothie. And now it's time to fill it into a jar. Because I don't have ice cubes, it's not as cold as the red one just before. So personally, I would add it to the fridge before drinking it. I like the smoothie to be cold. But look at the color, isn't it nice? And as you can see, it's not as thick as the other one. It's a bit more liquid. Beautiful. The taste test again, Lucas will come in a second and try the smoothie. This has been a long day of filming so far, so it's nice to eat, in this case, drink something. Cheers. cheers. And see. cheers to you. Cheers. Hmm. That's actually sweeter than the other one. I didn't expect that. Yeah, me neither. The, yeah, the banana is really strong. And has oh, a, it has a slight creaminess, which I also didn't expect. I think the kiwi... Mm -hmm. uh, you can notice it. And again, you can adjust the consistency simply by adding more or less water. Yeah. Or also by adding ice cubes. The ice cubes make it very creamy in the end. Yeah, actually, that's a, probably the best idea to start. And now comes the last one. Smoothie number three, the yellow one. The red one is ready, the green one is ready. Now comes smoothie number three, the yellow one. And how do we get the yellow color? With mango. I would have preferred the frozen mango because, again, it adds a cold element and more creaminess to the smoothie. But right today we entered the supermarket and apparently they had a power outage right before this morning and all of the freezers and refrigerators were empty, so also no frozen mango. So we go with the regular one that also works. This is one mango and I add it into the blender. Again, banana for the creaminess and the sweetness. And also this is more, the mango is tropical. So the banana goes really, really nice with that as well. And color wise, I know a pear is not really yellow, but it's sort of yellowish. So I will remove the stem as well. And then we add it in there too. Why pear? Because it's easy to find and it's actually quite delicious. If you want to add other fruits, be my guest, do what you like. These are just some ideas. Again, for the sweetness, some dates. You can always add more later. I will go for six now and some lemon juice. If you really want a uh, yellow color, you can add a pinch of turmeric, but don't add too much. You just want the color, you don't really want the flavor because it easily overpowers any dish or in this case smoothie that you added in. So I'm just going to add a tiny pinch right now. And as always, we need some water. Because I only have a little bit of mango, this is not as big a smoothie as the other ones. If you find the frozen mango, usually it comes in a bigger package, then you also have a bigger smoothie and you have to add a bit more water. Ready? Let's go. I gotta be honest, it's not as yellow as I hoped it would be. That's probably because I didn't use as much mango as I actually wanted to, but that's fine. And again, if you have ice cubes or if you have the frozen mango, it's perfect because the smoothie comes out cold. Um, like this, I would add it first to the fridge and then drink it in a couple of hours, so it's cold. As you can see, we don't have much left, but again, Lucas now gets his turn to try. A bit for Lucas, I also wanna try. Looks it looks like, like eggnog. Pineapple. Don't you think? Oh, I know, yeah. ah, actually, pineapple might be a great idea to add in there as well. So it's a bit warm because of the blending and because the mangoes were frozen, but taste-wise, it's pretty mm. nice. And there you go. Three healthy, colorful, and delicious smoothie recipes to kickstart your day. Use this as an inspiration. You can add any type of fruit that you like and adjust it to your personal preference. And let us know in the comments below which one was your personal favorite. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more videos like this in the future.